سوريا يا حبيبتي من أجل نجاح سوريا والعالم الإسلامي المتحدث الذي نظهره الآن يظهر إحصائيات بين عام 1900 و 2010 كيف أن 25% من جوائز نوبل للعلوم كانت من اليهود وهم عددهم في العالم أجمع 15 مليون ولكن فاصلة خمسة أي نصف واحد بالمئة من جوائز نوبل كانت من المسلمين وتعدادهم في ذاك الوقت واحد فاصلة ثلاثة بليون أين هو الخطأ؟ هل الخطأ في الإسلام أم الخطأ في التعليم أم في الثقافة؟ يجب أن نستفيق ويجب أن نتعلم ونواكب ركب الحضارة of that universe. And that absence of Muslim presence in the frontier of science persists to this day. Take a look at the Nobel Prize from 1900 to 2010. I can do this, do this for the, for the Jews, for example. How many Jews in the world is like 15 million tops, tops, 15 million out of 7 billion people. These are the numbers of Jews who have won the Nobel Prize in the sciences. 25% of the Nobel Prizes. This is rightly something to be extraordinarily proud of. The traditions of Jews in the 20th century is one of, of education and scholarship. Let's look at the numbers for Islam. So these are Jews. There are 15 million Jews, 25% of the Nobel Prizes. There is 1.3 billion Muslims in the world. These are the numbers. Now, for me, by the way, you can analyze this in any number of ways. There are 50 times the number of Nobel Prizes, 180th the population, there's 4,000 times the impact. I lose sleep at night with the question, how many secrets of the universe lay undiscovered? Because 1.3 billion people who in an ancestral time would have participated in this enterprise and are now not. That's what I think of as a scientist whole populations. By the way, there are other populations that never contributed. I'm not going to them and blaming them. I'm talking about a population that already did contribute. It's in, it's in the cultural heritage already. All we're asking is to resurrect it. He doesn't have to deal Islam. He says, we want to hope that Islam will return to the Holy Spirit.